without Mother Crystals. To sit. So the North is lost. I knew that the blight spread ever more swiftly, Your Grace. But this, this is far, far worse than any could have imagined. It is only a matter of time before the twins are no more. The world marches ever closer to its end, and here we chase shadows. Tell me, brother, are our efforts in vain? Master Clive, a moment, if you... Oh, my apologies, I didn't mean to... intrude. Not at all. Uh, we were just... Discussing strategy. Speak freely, Otto. It's Martha, from the inn. She's gone missing. Anyway, I'll be in the mess when you've finished. Very well. What would make Martha leave the rest? Something has happened to Martha. We need to speak with Otto. What do we know, Otto? Some lads from the Imperial garrison in Rosaria started a fight over at Martha's Rest. Blood was spilled. Bones were broken. The usual. But somewhere in the middle of it all, Martha vanished without a word to anyone. And that ain't like her, Clive. Something's not right. You think this was planned? Of course it bloody was. Ever since Eastpool, the Empire's been tightening its grip round the Duchy's balls. They've strung up everyone who's ever set eyes on a runaway, claiming they're traitors to the Holy Throne, conspiring to restore the House of Rosfield to power. I know it sounds like the bastards have turned their attentions to the poor bearers meek enough to stay put. Naturally, old Martha could see the way the wind was blowing, complained that it was getting harder and harder to take bearers in. And now she's missing. If she's fallen into the hands of the Empire, we could be next. Couple of curse breakers are already on their way to the inn. They should help speed up the search. But if this is as bad as I think it is, you might end up having to save their asses and all. Don't worry, Otto. I'll make sure everyone gets home safe. What happened here? Come on. We need to find the others. Fucking Imperial. Best off staying where we are for now, I reckon. Let's get you to a physical, shall we? 
Sid. What said you'd be coming? I trust you don't mind. Also thought you might need some help. And it appears he was right. You, uh, could say that, yes. They're saying the Imperials ascended like a storm. No one was spared their fury. Martha tried to step in and calm things down, but... All our efforts got her were a pair of iron shackles and a hard march. Any idea where? Judging by their tracks, they headed towards Sorrowwise Bay. To the Abbey, sheltering Martha's bearers. The bastards. Jill and I will go after them. You take care of the people here. We will. But, um, before you go, one of the locals heard something. He said the soldiers were talking about a culling. I don't know how big this is, but it doesn't sound good. Be careful out there, Sid. You do the same. Cole is right. That was no tavern brawl. It was a message. But a culling. Bearers are the property of the Empire. The garrison wouldn't have the authority to act alone. The orders would have had to have come from higher up. the Abbey who need you. You have to do something. Tell us what happened. What happened? The damn Black Shields, that's what happened. The Black Shields? The bastards caught wind. The Abbot and I were helping bearers. They were gonna hang us both. When the sick rose from their beds, poor souls turned on the Imperials, distracted them long enough for me to get away. Then... They may still be alive. Martha, do you think you can make it back to the inn? Cole is there with the other curse breakers. I think so. Thank you, Clive. Black Shields. Is this some sort of twisted joke? There has only ever been one order of shields in Rosaria. They fought to defend all her citizens. Still the best of my past, even for the Empire. This one! Go for it! Too late. There might still be someone inside.
No. Damn it. I thought you lot were all spent. Murderers. They drove the bearers to this. Wait. These two aren't turned. Ugh. That bitch of an innkeeper must have sent them. Colluding with the enemies of the Empire is a serious offence. And for their crimes shall they be punished. Such is the law. To dwell in darkness that we may purge the night and welcome lasting dawn. On these our swords we swear. How dare you speak those words? Have you no honor? Clive. This won't take long. I think so. I didn't see the abbot. He may still be alive. Abbot. The bearers died protecting him. Calling upon what little magic they had left in their bodies. Clive. He's breathing. Friends of Martha, we're here to help. Are the Imperials dead? They are. Every last one. If only that were true. <coughs> the Black Shields will return. Sid, where are you? In here. Clive. He's gone. <sighs> We've laid the abbot to rest. The bear. No, they didn't. They knew the. Martha said they. I've gathered the. There's a drawbridge near the abbot. Would... I'll do it. Of course. Cole and I will remain here.
Togo? What am I saying? Of course it has. It's a floating eyeball. Get him! See that coming. So shall the waters cleanse thee. And now they are truly free. I hope so. What of the Imperials? A pyre was made. It's more than they deserve. We should go back. Cole is worried about Martha. All right. Thank you, Founder. One survived then. I'm sorry. Does it mean Cole said you could? It should have. How? But I did. The I assume nothing but a. An inordinate. Which begs the. My mother. And picking what goes on in that woman. If those. Oh, he asked me to. Then we must. We can say no need.
Try not to move. Oi! You... Of course you are now. Chocobo. You heard me. And not just white hot. Chocobo. It's true. Oh, go on. <sighs> All right. There's a good lad. Where can I find these chocobos? I saw him. You save white heart and, and don't worry. I'm sure. And good luck. Feather. I thought Ambrosia was one of a kind. Speaking of brave birds, looks like they went that way. without a fight. We got you cornered, Feathers. You didn't think you'd seen the last of us, did you? You be not around it. Oh. Because she's something you heard. Then.
You're safe now. White heart, I presume. Do you know her, boy? of a flock. Oi! He, he is it over! I thought I'd come and see how you were getting on. Oh, well, you sorted the bastards then. I knew you would. <laughs> and the whole flock made it through unscathed. Thankfully they did. And not only that, No, I reckon I'll have it. Bird like her would have cost a... Well... Oh, no, sorry. What is it, girl? She wants her master back, I reckon. <coughs> Told you. And it seems her pals agree. Is that it? Well, bugger. Oh. Doesn't she cut an handsome figure, eh? She does indeed. Ah, oh, I'll be going you what? You hear that? Hmm. You seem awful familiar now I get a proper look at you. That's it. When those chocobos swore my cart on the road, didn't you? Uh... No. Must have been. Oh, must have been. And yeah. Take care of your flock for now. I'll call you when I need you. Where's Gav? Gav should be back by now. I hear there's trouble in Ah, Clive! Oh, I've missed that scowl. Where's my report? What, no kind words for old pal Gav? <laughs> If it's kind words you're after, you're fishing in the wrong barrel. Now sit down, you fool. So, you remember how quick the Empire was to occupy the Dominion after the fall of Drake's head? 
And how pissed off all the other nations were that they didn't think to do it first. Half a century of independence gone at the whim of a madman. So much for their bloody treaty. Clearly the promise of unblighted land and the world's supply of crystals was too much for his radiance to resist. <sighs> and now the Republic's finally decided to follow suit using liberation as an excuse to declare war on Sambrek. Lined up right outside the Dominion's gates as we speak, looking to starve the Imperials into submission. And now all eyes are on the Strait of Ortha. While the two nations beat their shields, the rest sharpen their daggers, ready to set upon the war-weary victor. They'll never see us coming. It's time we moved on the Mother Crystals. Four Mother Crystals remain in Storm and Ash. Drake's Breath, near Ironholm. Drake's Fang, in Dalmechia. Drake's Spine, in Walud. And Drake's Tail, here in the Crystalline Dominion. With the bulk of the Republican army marching to Twinsight, Drake's Fang will be left exposed. That is exactly the move Kupka would anticipate. And if there is anything these past five years have taught us, is that he loves his traps. There is one place, however, where nobody will be expecting us to go. Drake's breath. There's a shitload of sea between us and it, and I've never been much of a swimmer. I have an acquaintance in Port Isolde who may be able to help. Who's that then? My uncle, Byron Rossfield. Lord Byron Rossfield at the Seven High Houses, the trade magnet with holdings in over a hundred cities. Wait, Rossfield. And you're a Rossfield, of course. My uncle's name gave him his start in the world, but it was his acumen which earned him his fortune along with a handsome fleet of ships. Well, it's settled then. <laughs> what are we waiting for? Eh? Huh? What are we waiting for, indeed? I think it's all right to touch him. I hear there's trouble. Knowledge is yours. I have a few new notes that might interest you. Now 
this, I believe you will find most interesting. You wish to study the tomes? Thank you. 